I'm Chris Price from Drove Farm Vets in Wiltshire. Um, this is Richard Wolford from Hook Farm Partnership. We run a fairly high input, high output system. We have about 240 cows. Uh, we average about 10,500 litres per year. We are an all-year round calving system, which does bring some specific problems with it. And we try and communicate that around all members of the team on the farm so that everybody, there's no point in setting up a strategy without the team members within that knowing what they have to do to fulfil their part of yeah, that it's strategy. It's got to be a communal buy-in from all, all members of the team to get to the end, end mm -hmm. result that you want. Going back maybe 10 years, we had a number of cows that um, went off farm um, with various clinical signs, but one cow in particular um, that Chris identified and was concerned with, we sent some samples off for the owners. She was showing some profuse signs of scouring um, at a few days after calving and um, we investigated further with the drove vets. Um, yeah, and she came back strongly positive for Yoni's disease. We initially uh, sampled individual cows um, and then moved uh, fairly straight, straight away after that to a, a bulk sample, um, which gives you an indication of the level in the herd. But um, fairly soon after that we moved to individual cow sampling uh, through NMR recording. Uh, initially we were showing probably 20 to 25 percent of the herd um, as identified with the owners um, and that immediately gives you a problem. We are a closed herd so to do a, a straight cull of the identified cows on a closed herd basis is obviously a, a, a structural lowering of the herd level and, and you can't just simply buy in to replace those so we've tried to then adopt a, a management strategy in consultation with the drove vets to, to manage that whilst balancing the herd number. So it's been a multi, we've had to attack it on different levels, we've had to put in control measures to try and stop disease from spreading but also bear in mind breeding strategy and culling options for moving cows out as quickly as we can once they've been identified as Yoni's as strongly owned as positive animals but bearing in mind we need to maintain a herd size but it's the control in that calving yard that is the big step forward that we were struggling with initially mm -hmm. um, it's quite easy to start breeding identify animals breed them to beef and to uh, manipulate your colostrum management but the the big win is not giving them that exposure to sort of the infectious fecal material from infected cows that might well be contaminating Absolutely. the whole of the, of the calving yard for the whole group that are in there with those in potentially infectious or shedding cows. That's right. We did, before we had the separate yard, we tried to split the cows into different groups within almost the same yard, but it, it simply doesn't work until you can have a dedicated area for clean replacement heifer calves and a separate area for your Jonas cows to calve down. That has been the fundamental step forward that yeah. we've achieved. We have seen a gradual reduction in Jonas. I think one thing that's become completely apparent within the whole process is that Yonas is a long-term fight and it takes a long time to tackle this problem and, and begin to get on top of it. The Yonas control program has been successful on farm. It is a long-term battle and it is a gradual fight against Yonas. It's not something that's going to be complete in one or two or three years. Whether we actually ever become truly Yonas free, I think we'd love to hope so. The reality is probably that we reduce the level to a very minimal level but whether we actually ever get to that point where you can say we are truly Jonas free is, is debatable.